Hi everybody, Steven Flag here, and welcome back to Flagcraft Comes Alive. If you remember last time, we were in the Twilight Forest, and you know we just sort of shouldn't have gone to the Twilight Forest. Eventually we are going to have to go back there because that is where we are going to set another quarry so that we can get a whole lot more stuff so we can start doing some major building. I mean, that whole quarry that I built out there, this is all we got for ores. That's it for the quarry. Because I'm pretty sure all my other ores are still over here. Yeah. This is stuff that I mined by hand. I got more stuff by hand than I did from that quarry. So, uh, the other thing that we need is to power that quarry, because uh, I can't just go, like, sterling engines and stuff. I, I, I need to go more powerful. I need to start producing power so I can use more machines here. The issue is, I don't know how to do power in this mod pack. I, I have no idea. I, I usually use wind turbines, but wind turbines are not in this mod pack. What do we got? A, sig a sigil? We got a wind generator through blood magic. That's not going to help us. Now, we do have... Do we not have energy cells? We absolutely have energy cells. So how am I getting power into these energy cells? You see, guys, I'm used to doing power one way. I, I'm, I'm really not used to doing other stuff. I assume uh, Draconic Evolution. I heard that that actually makes a great... Uh, and, uh, like a, like a generator, a, a huge power generator. Uh, but I don't think I want to get really deep into that. We're already deep into a whole bunch of different things here. Uh, there's Galacticraft. But we, uh, again, we still need to use power. There's, I mean, it's gotta be in here somewhere. Like, windmill? We got no windmills. Um, uh, uh power? Pow power oh anything that has power in the explanation uh great okay that's all galactic craft we've got generators through extra utilities okay all right we can we can start with that uh i'm i'm probably gonna have to look through what the mods are in this pack again guys i didn't uh i didn't realize how difficult it's gonna be for me to do hey look we got the, like a culinary generator and I think for a culinary generator, a culinary, culinary, you, you, uh, oh my god. Okay, that's actually not too bad. You, you would use food. And, you know, I'm really doing nothing with the Pam's Harvest Craft stuff, so if that's usable, then that's what we'll do. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be working on that power situation later. Let's just get to it. Uh, now, I forgot to look in here. As you can see, uh, our quarry did pick up a whole lot of fossils and archaeology stuff for us, including a whole bunch of relic scraps and a broken ancient helm. Yet another piece of armor, along with this uh, ancient sword, which really isn't much better than an iron sword, uh, that is going to help us in, in the battle against uh, Death himself to get Lasagna back. So we're going to bring this outside and we're going to start that working. Uh, we got a bunch of biofossils again, so let's let's just leave one biofossil in there just in case. I got another feeder there. We got some frozen meat. Might as well bring that. And the plant fossils? Sure, why not? Okay, so I did a whole lot of work, guys, off camera. And uh, I think you're going to be impressed. Where is my food? So I'm actually going to look down. Uh, Oh my god, you did it again! Stop breaking your pen! Look, I, 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 yes, I increased the size of the Elasmatherium's pen, who has no name yet, or, uh... Hey, I can't even, uh... Can't even focus. There you go. Uh, it's, it's a female, so we need a female name for this Elasmatherium. Uh, very, very happy, as you can see. 100, and that is because I not only gave him a scratching, or her, a scratching post, I also made a ball for her. But anyhow, uh, let, let's get over here and let's start this stuff up first, and then we'll go take a look at what I did off camera. Uh, so the archaeology workbench is the one that I need. Let's put, let's fill that right up and drop the broken ancient helmet in there, and we'll let that get to work. Uh, now our analyzer, we're going to need this. That's right, we'll put the meat in there too, and those plant fossils, we'll just let everything go. And I'll drop these in there, and we'll drop this coal in there, because we don't really need it. We're going to have to make up another dinosaur pen very, very soon, because uh, I'm itching to create some more dinos. 
Anything yet? How's it going? Oh, it's looking good. And we've already got an Allosaurus. Allosaurus! We may actually go with the Allosaurus there soon. Anyhow, so, as you can see, not only did I increase the Elasmatherium pen here, and she needs a name, remember guys, she needs a name, uh, I did replace all of this with dense sand. Now, before we get into this, <laughs> let me show you what the process is for dense sand. I had to go to the nether, and I had to get a whole bunch of nether quartz. So, here's the process. Oh. So, I'll take... I didn't even have to do that, did I? All I have to do is take... Oh, that's regular. That's dense sand. One regular sand. One nether quartz. Gives you two dense sand. Right? Okay. Now, the dense sand, also, I had to create uh, reinforced glass. So reinforced glass is just a dense sand cooked. So I went crazy, and I made a load of this dense sand. Now, the issue with this dense sand, yes, it does look a little more prehistoric. It's still weird to me that this is stronger than an, a block of iron, or has the strength of a block of iron. Apparently, mobs... Not mobs, but your dinosaurs cannot break through this. They can break through stone, and I have seen that firsthand. But apparently they can't break through this. Now, the Elasmatherium over here, I need to find a way to make him a new pen, because he is eventually going to break... Right, look at him scratch. She's eventually going to break right through all of these fences. So, uh, as you can see, I did not do the, uh, the raptor pen, because the raptors can't break through stone. They're not strong enough. I threw a couple more cows in there because the raptors have start, started killing the cows. It's awesome. They hunt them down like you wouldn't believe. Oh, look. Yeah, see, look. They took another one out. The raptors love to hunt. So we're going to have to try to find a way to... Uh, maybe we can make a cow spawner. And we can just keep... Or, or like, a, like a cow farm over there. And we can just keep feeding cows over into here for these guys. Now we've got Betty down there, and you can see the walls are changed. This is all reinforced glass. I'm actually, I actually like the reinforced glass. It, it looks kind of cool. Betty's very happy. She's got a pink ball down there, as you can see, right there. And she's eating her tree, and she's got her scratching post. And we come over here and see Steve. How's it going, Steve? Look at how big he's getting. Steve's got a blue ball. I made him a ball as well. Steve's pretty happy. Those trees are getting huge. Maybe I should, uh, Steve, you're kind of big. Maybe I'll break down that dirt right there. So, uh, building with this dense sand is a pain in the ass. Because dense sand <laughs> has the same properties as sand. So it has gravity. So it's really, really hard. you got to go block by block by block. And if you, uh, I, now I made a mistake while I was building and I broke the feeder. Now, break the feeder, the sand all goes down on top of you. Guess what? <laughs> gotta build, gotta destroy all the sand so you can get your block back in there. What a pain in the butt that is. Uh, now, now when I, I need to find a new way to get in and out of here because if every time I break this sand to get in, I'm gonna have to break this entire line of sand. So, uh, to get in, I have been going into creative mode, guys. I've just Creative mode just to jump in, check with them, and then jump out, turn creative mode off. I just have to figure out a new way to get in there. Uh, a door is not going to swing it. Hey guys. Laverne, Shirley, you hunting the cow? Get him! Oh! Come on! Come on girls, you can do it! Ooh, they're hissing! Go on. Go get the cows. Laverne, Shirley. Again, you... Oh, look at the jump! Whoa. Oh, look! Look! Oh, my God! She did it! Way to go, girl! She jumped right on the cow's back and took it out. Oh, my God! Get out of there, cow! Oh, you are screwed. You don't stand a chance over there. Laverne and Shirley are just going to flat... I can, I'm going to run out of cows. I'm just straight up going to run out of cows. You going to... You going to get them, girls? 
Are you on the hunt? Oh, you're you're coming over here to eat out of this. Oh, we got plenty of meat in there. If I just keep dumping cows in there, they're just gonna keep eating them. So, uh, I'm assuming now I am gonna have to do the uh, do this pen because I'm gonna have to do this pen and the white and then the the gray. It's just like yeah, it looks kind of stupid. I'm, I'm, so I am going to have to do this pen eventually. I just don't have to do it right away because there's no fear of them breaking through the stone. Now the pen that I build beside it, I may have to do... Yeah, because I'm probably going to have to do one wall because I think I'm going to put the Allosaurus over here. Oh, the Allosaurus! <laughs> We're going to have one giant meat eater. And we'll sh shove the Allosaurus down in here so I'm probably going to have to do that wall. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey y'all. Okay, I, th I think I think I know what to do to fix this as well. I'm just gonna put a little brace in there. Jacko man, would you go away? So, uh, for our good friend here, the Elasmatherium, who's half out of his pen. Dude, I wish you wouldn't do that. I really wish you wouldn't do that. You freak me out. Not, not in a scary way, not in a, like you're a scary giant creature with a huge horn on its head. You Actually, you're like a puppy dog. Uh, I just mean it scares me because I don't want you to get away and run away. I should, uh, speaking of which, I haven't spoken to my family in a little while. Family? Well, I guess my daughter, that's it. I'm not going to walk in on her and... Oh, she's by herself. Hey, Amy. How you doing, honey? Um. Hey, what's going? Can we go camping? We yeah, we can go. Do you want to go camping, Amy? We will definitely go camping if that's what you want. We can have a daddy-daughter camping trip. Sure, absolutely. Next episode, daddy-daughter camping trip. And. I guess you can come along to Sydney if you really want to.